This video shows you how to divide bubbles into smaller uh, sub-bubbles, and it also shows you how to mark a particular time on Audio Timeliner. Uh, so here I have a diagram of the exposition of Mozart's Piano Sonata Kirschel 332, and I divided it into part one and part two. And so part two, you see, I've already divided into these um, you know, subunits like S and C and so forth. Suppose I want to do the same thing for part one and divide it into the primary theme and transition. Uh, so let me show you how to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I clicked on part one, and I'm going to press this play button to start playing it. And then when I hear the beginning, beginning of the transition, I'm going to click on this add button right here, and that will create a new bubble and basically divide this bubble in half. So you can click on this add, uh, add button, or you can also just press the return key. Let me show you how this works. That's the beginning of P. the beginning of the transition. So now you'll see I've divided this particular group in half. There's this first half and this second half. And now let's suppose I made a mistake and um, you know I was a little bit slow and I really think the transition happens a little bit earlier, earlier than what I clicked. So if you click on this uh, second bubble here, if you go to where the boundary is, you'll see that this uh, uh, my mouse changes into these two little lines. If I click, I can actually move the boundary a little bit this way or that way if I want to make adjustments. So let's say I think it begins a little bit earlier. Uh, let's try that. So I'm going to click on this second bubble and press play. Mm, I'm still missed some of it, so let's move it back. Okay, that's more like it. Now I will label each one of these sections. So you can label it by uh, clicking on it and marking edit, or just by double clicking. Okay, oops. There's my little window. And I'll label this P for primary theme. And I'll click on OK. Okay. Now I'll double click on this bubble. There's my window. I'll label that TR. And I can make add some annotations. This marks by energy gain. Click on OK. And when you're editing these bubbles, one thing that you can do is you can just go from bubble to bubble by clicking on the left and right, like that. And when you're in sort of a section that has multiple levels, you can also go a level up and down like that. Okay, so I've divided this into the primary theme and transition. Now suppose I want to group these two areas together into a larger part one. What I'll do is I'll click on the first one, I'll hold down the shift key, and click on the second one, and now I've selected both of them. And I'll go down here to where it says group, and I will click on that. And that gives me a larger group that encompasses both of those sections. Uh, so you can take smaller groups and group them together into a larger group. You cannot do the reverse, uh, so you cannot take a larger group and then make subgroups in it. Let's give a label for this. Okay. Okay. And uh, suppose I want to group all of these things to show that this is the um, uh, to show that this is the uh, uh, exposition. Well, I can take part one. Medius Azura in part two, and click on group. Oh, let's try that again. I'll do this. Okay, you can also use your mouse to select, and it was giving me a little bit of grief before. I'll click on group, and I'll call this I'll call this 
Sonata Exposition. Okay. Next, um, let me show you how to make a, a, a time mark. Uh, so that's just a little mark that will appear underneath the timeline. It's marking a moment rather than a um, particular section. Uh, so suppose I want to mark you know, where the half cadence of the new key happens at the end of the transition. Um, I'll click on the transition to play it. I'll press this play button. And when I hear that half cadence, I will click on this mark button right here. Uh, you can also make a mark by pressing um, uh, control return or command return on your keyboard. So I've marked where that cadence occurs. You'll notice that when I uh, put the mouse over it, this it turns into a hand, and so you can use that to drag this back and forth, just like with the boundaries we did before. And then we can also double click on it to give it a label. And I can make you know comments. major key, etc. Apply. Okay. So that is how you, um, uh, that's how you um, uh, make uh, extra bubbles and um, uh, mark particular events in, a, um, in an audio timeline. That should be everything you need to know for this Schoenberg. Have fun and um, have a great weekend.